That is dry, tasteless. That is not a master chef dish. And so what happened? I mean, this guy can cook. How many times has he won a challenge and been to restaurants? What, what's going on here? I would have thought, you know, you keep some good ones up your sleeve once you got to this stage in the competition, you start rolling them out. And if that's, if that's all that's left, there ain't anything left. I'm embarrassed, that's all I can say. I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, I know I've cooked that fish right, and I think my dishes look, look pretty good. Tell us, Steve, your dishes here, three of them. Give us a theme and tell us about the dishes. Great, the theme is um, kiwi as, using kiwi seafood, kiwi produce. So we have white bait fritters with an avocado cream, pan-fried orange roughy on a potato bake with a summer salsa, and we have chocolate sauce pudding with a berry compote and cream. My sort of issue is, you know, kiwi as. You know, it's a little bit slang-like, you know? It, it is. Does it say cooking? Does it say delicious? You know, has it got that lickability? Yeah, yeah. Well, possibly possibly the title's, you know, a, a work in progress. Um, I, I see your point. So your book is about using kiwi produce? Using kiwi produce and also, like, you know, the, the wild pork with venison, going fishing, picking field mushrooms. Kind of reminds me of something. Ever seen another book like that? That's all about New Zealand, about oh, hunting, yeah, definitely. about... I mean, I love you know, Hunger for the Wild book as well, yeah. definitely. It was one of, one of my favourite books in the house. So when okay. Al Brown came in today, I was like... <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you, Steve. Can you leave us now to taste? Yeah, sure. I'm walking out there going, bloody hell, maybe I've just made a huge mistake. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to sort of find my style here. and I know what I like cooking. I love cooking steak and meat. I love cooking seafood. I've put my heart onto a plate, which is what they wanted, so... Yeah, we shall see. OK, let's give Steve's fritters a whirl. It's not bad, but it's, you know, I think he's a bit confused. He's trying to recreate the wheel. That avocado, again, I think, you know, you're putting quite a bland thing on there against something that's delicate, like white bait. To me, it was wrong with the avocado. White bait, you don't muck around with it. It's either a white bait fritter or it's quickly fried, and that's it. Well cooked fish, the potato is OK, lacking a little seasoning, but I'm sorry. For me, kiwi fruit and a tomato salsa does not work at all. I like fruit in my salads. The, the kiwi fruit just gives it a slight tang. In the mouth, it all works beautifully together. Goldie, you're right. It just doesn't work. Kiwi fruit and tomatoes, mark that down for life, never works. I, I just don't get it. That is dry. Tasteless. That is not a master chef dish. And so what happened? I mean, this guy can cook. How many times has he won a challenge and been to restaurants? What, what's going on here? I would have thought, you know, you keep some good ones up your sleeve once you got to this stage in the competition, you start rolling them out. And if that's if that's all that's left, there ain't anything left. I'm embarrassed. That's all I can say. You just don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what the judges are going to say. Someone's going home today and that's their dream gone. Going into this elimination, it's a funny feeling. It's a semi-final time. We could be going home tonight, or we could be going through into the grand final. I think I'm going home, because I did bring out some very unusual dishes, and my concept for my cookbook was very out of the square. I don't think you can afford to have a mediocre dish at this point in the competition, and I had one. I'm under no illusions. If you make a mistake, you're out. We've seen that so many times before. I really hope I'm not in the bottom two, mate. But if I am and I go, well, I'm happy to have made it this far through, you know? Like, this is an amazing thing to get this far. I'm feeling particularly nervous, this one, just because there's a lot at stake. You don't go home this elimination, you're in the final, so it's a really important one. Today's challenge was all about your vision for a cookbook. You had to cook three knockout dishes that would convey that vision so compellingly, each of us would have to run out and buy a copy as soon as it got to the shops. Al told you about the importance of presentation and lickability. How great your dishes have to look, especially on the cover. But this is a cooking competition, and at the end of the day, 
It's also about how your food tastes. This is a semi-final. You're the top four of MasterChef. At this level, we're expecting champagne dishes from everyone. But from a couple of you, we got flat beer. Brett, please step forward. Brett, with your three dishes, you took us back to Asia. And I think you took us on quite a good culinary journey. Thank you. Brett, your soup. We all had a minor niggle with the presentation of it. But I have to say that your balance of flavours was spot on. You know what else? You got a big tick from Al as well. Oh, nice. I had been worried about the flavour of the soup. The only bad thing they said about that was the presentation, and, uh... Oh, I can handle that. Brett, the three dishes you presented work well together. And we could all see the vision for your cookbook shining through. You nailed those flavours. Thank you. Get excited, Brett, because I'm extremely pleased to tell you you're through to the finals. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <sighs> Feels awesome, you know. I finally scraped myself up again and got back to where I know I could be. I know I can cook well on, on a good day, and that's just huge. It's a massive feeling and a massive release of emotion. Kelly, please step forward. When I'm standing in front of the judges, all I can feel is my whole body just starts burning. I'm waiting to get absolutely blasted for the dishes that I've presented and my concept. We were all confused by your concept at first, and I think you were too. The uncooked asparagus tips were a disappointment in your first dish. I had no idea my asparagus was undercooked. I'm thinking, oh, it's, it's just going to get worse from here. The goat's cheese and blueberry wontons were a weird combination. But bizarrely, they worked. But when it came to your pineapple dessert... Wow. We loved it. Al included. Thank you. He raved about the flavours and the way you'd thought about texture. The pineapple dessert was the best individual dish of the day, so well done. Awesome. Man, I d after hearing those, I definitely thought, fire out, I'm, I'm through to the finals. Kelly, you're also through too. Yes! I certainly didn't think that was going to be. <laughs> this, this is so cool. It's like so stoked. <laughs> I'm just blown away. It's unbelievable. Man. From getting eliminated to going home to coming back, fighting my way back in, I'm actually going to be one of the last people standing. Brett, Kelly, so you can both sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Tracy, Steve, both of you are great cooks. But let's face it, neither of you had a great day at the office today. Steve, you took a big risk cooking white bait and orange roughy for a fish expert like Al Brown. You tried to reinvent the white bait fritter by cooking it in a ring, but you should have stuck to the classic method. And the avocado just didn't go with it at all. Steve, your fish, creamy potatoes and salsa it was like three different recipes on one plate. They simply didn't work. I was taking a bit of a risk. I hadn't tried a lot of those combos before. I was trying to do something different, trying to get it to that 105% that the judges kept talking about. Steve, the chocolate pudding, it was just a lump of dry sponge on a plate, and it certainly wasn't up to your level. I wasn't happy with the way it turned out, actually. If it was singing, it wasn't Traviata, it was Rick Astley, I'm afraid. I don't want to go home, but by the same token, this is a competition, so, you know, one of us has to go home. That's the way it works. Tracy, your cookbook was Let Me Entertain You. You wanted to show people that you could cook great food with relative ease. Not a bad idea at all, but your food did not reach greatness. Your prawns were tasteless, your entree was safe but boring. Your beef fillet dish lacked depth. It was brown beef on potatoes that were supposed to be saffron, but I couldn't really tell. No colour, no depth of flavour, nothing very interesting. And your tart. The rhubarb was cooked well, the filling was OK, but it needed more sweetness, ginger, and a glaze on top. There was a couple of things on all the dishes that, that wasn't perfect, but they did critique Steve's dishes more than mine. So I was sort of holding on to the hope that I'd done enough to be in the top three. 
I'm sure you're both very disappointed in your efforts today. I'm very sorry to have to say that both of you are going home today. It was a bit of a shock to hear that, that two of us were going home. I really wasn't expecting that today. Obviously, it's hugely disappointing. Um, I've come this far. The goal was to get into the final. Haven't met my objective, but um, hey, I've got bloody close. It's, um, it's really hard to stop yourself getting upset. You know, I'm really proud of myself. Hi. You've done good. Thank you. I'm certainly a much better cook than I was um, when I came into it, and um, it's disappointing to come so far and not quite make it, but um, at the end of the day, um, when I started the competition, I didn't think I'd get to top four, so, you know, that's an achievement. Something I'd say to both of you, you wouldn't be here unless you're great cooks. Steve, you've been one of this competition's most consistent performers. You've won challenges and best dishes of the day quite a few times, but today, your dishes just let you down. Tracy? Today, you just didn't quite reach the level you had in some of the other challenges. But if you keep at it, I know we'll see some good things from you in the future. And you'll always be Master Chef's Moose Queen. <laughs> Thanks. You both cooked your hearts out and impressed us so many times. Thank you for everything you've given this competition and for sharing the journey with us. But it's now time to leave the Master Chef kitchen. Thank you. The whole competition has been an emotional roller coaster, and in particular today. Obviously, hugely disappointed, but then by the same token, you know, we've come a hell of a long way.